Hi boys and girls, in honor of Parshas Vayetze we are going to create a sheet painting. Here are the supplies which you'll need. Black paint, light green paint, light blue paint, and white paint. Liquid glue, a plastic fork, googly eyes, a cup of water, three paintbrushes, large, medium, and small, a pencil, a small sponge, cutouts of the head and body of the sheep, scissors, a canvas, and cotton balls. Now let's get started. After printing out the sheep, we will begin by cutting out its body and then its head. Position them on the canvas with the body below and the head on top. Next, put some tape or blue tack on the back of both the sheep's head and body, making sure to put some on each side so it will be secure. Stick them onto the canvas so that they will each remain in position and won't move around. Are you ready for the next step? We are going to paint the empty space around the cutouts with a large paintbrush using the color blue. Meanwhile, let's talk about this project and how it's connected to the Parsha. In Parsha's Vayetze, we learned that Yaakov Avinu was a shepherd for Lavan. What is a lesson we can learn from shepherd and their sheep? To answer that question, here's a story. Once upon a time, there was a big flock of red sheep. Have you ever seen red sheep? No? Well, imagine if red sheep existed. They would be very rare and special. In our story, all the other sheep were jealous of this red flock. They didn't like that this flock was a different color than they were. They were so jealous that they decided to harm these sheep. Stay tuned, we'll get back to the story in a minute. Once you're finished painting the space blue, take off the bigger stencil, the sheep's body, and use the pencil to trace the smaller stencil, the sheep's head. Trace it all around, including the top part that meets the blue space, so that you can see the outline of the entire head. Next, take off the smaller stencil, the head, and using your medium paintbrush, fill in the sheep's face and ears with black paint. Afterwards, paint little feet for the sheep at the bottom. Now back to our story. The jealous sheep would hide behind bushes by the river, and whenever a red sheep would wander by the river on its own, the white sheep would attack it. The red flock of sheep was constantly scared for their lives. They felt unsafe. The elders of the flock decided that the situation cannot continue like this any longer. They must find some way to protect the flock from harm. So the elders decided to approach a shepherd and ask him to protect the flock. The shepherd agreed. He would walk ahead of the flock with his torch and stick. Whenever any animal came close, he would chase it away. He also made sure to take the flock to safer areas. The sheep always made sure to follow the shepherd. They knew that the shepherd wanted what's best for them, and if they followed him, they would be safe. Back to our project. Let it dry for a few minutes so the colors don't smudge. Now we are going to mix paint together to create the color gray. Do you know which two colors we need? That's right, black and white. Pour some of the white paint into a separate cup, then using a small paintbrush, add a tiny bit of black paint. Mix it until you see that it has turned gray. Then clean off the brush and the cup of water. Next, take a little sponge, dip it into gray paint, and dab it over the sheep's body, covering it entirely. Once we're finished, we can touch up the edges of the sheep's face. Back to our story and the lesson we can learn. What would you do if you were one of the red sheep? Would you be happy to have a shepherd to protect you? Guess what? Just like the red sheep in this story, we as Yidin are different from those around us. We are sometimes surrounded by people who are jealous of who we are, that we are Yidin and that we are special. We are very lucky to have a special shepherd who protects us from any harm that anyone may try to cause us. Who do you think is our shepherd? That's right, Hashem. He keeps us protected through his special instructions, the mitzvahs in the Torah. We may not understand how each mitzvah is the best for us, but just as the sheep follow their shepherd and trust him fully, we too should follow the Torah's instructions and trust that they are for our benefit. Next, we are going to paint the grass. Take the fork and dip it into the green paint the way you would if you were mashing a potato. Now in the same way, press the back of the fork onto the bottom of your canvas. Do this to the whole bottom and so that we make sure that the grass is growing nicely underneath the sheep so it has a soft place to rest. Next, take a couple of the cotton balls. One at a time, pull the cotton balls apart so they are more fluffy and hair-like. 
We want to make sure the sheep has a nice full head of hair. Are you ready to glue them on? Take the liquid glue and squeeze it onto the cotton balls. Put them on the sheep's head just like a yarmulke. Now we're ready for the eyes. Put two dots of glue on the sheep's face. Take one guess as to what you'll put on there. You're right, it's the googly eyes. Stick them on and watch the sheep stare right back at you. Lastly, we'll paint the sheep's nose and mouth. Dip your small paintbrush into the white paint and draw a small smile. You may need to dip your brush into the paint more than once. To make it look more like a face, we will paint a nose. Two small lines coming up from the mouth. And with this last step, we're all done. Let it dry, then you can choose where to hang your beautiful painting.